can beat anyone in the world. But I fear no one. Dream Team, Van Guren and Barney coming next as they take on Russia. And rounding off tonight, Australia with Simon Willock against Carl Anderson against Max Hoff and Jihan Artud for the host nation Germany. The singing Van Guren's name. Oh, Michael Van Guren, the roar goes up. They've seen their hero. Let's get him on stage now, our MC John McDonald. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to the action. This is the Bentley World Cup of Dance brought to you by the professional dance corporation live on Sky Sports. And a very special welcome to the millions of viewers joining us around the world. Welcome to Frankfurt, Germany. Let's meet the teams. Ladies and gentlemen, two times World Cup champion, Team Netherlands and Team Russia. Barney, look focused, they look ready, they want to win this World Cup. Well, yeah, they, they've both experienced it before. Of course, Barney's won it with two different partners now, with Michael Enko, Stompe. And uh, they, they, they want to get it back, they, they do. And let's be honest, they are the favourites for the tournament because of that man. He is the best player on the planet, but in Barney, you've got someone that will continue to play at the highest level. And if the going gets tough, Barney could easily take over and be, be kind of Michael's confidant, if you like, and, and be Michael's captain, because Barney is that good. Just got the stats through. Cody Harris in that last match, 99.75 three-day average. Impressive, very impressive. First time on, on TV playing darts. What, 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 uh, we know he lost, but what a start to his career. Uh, and it, it's odd talking about the start of it someone's career we we saw alexander oreshkin at the world championships the first time he'd ever appeared in he's into his 50s and he, he took uh mervyn king all the way on a five setter so this won't be plain sailing for uh, for team netherlands rod harrington and rod studio commentators for this one thanks dave well to really enjoy that last game and cody harris as you and wayne were alluding to there almost 100 average for his throws and well as well, I mean, they both played brilliantly and at 1.31. They had Scotland on the ropes there, and two big finishes from Thornton and Anderson got them out of trouble and went on to win. And who knows, they could go on to win the tournament. But that was a breath of fresh air, wasn't it, from Cody Harris? It certainly was, Rod. As, as I mentioned, when I was commentating with Wayne, when I was down in New Zealand last year and in Australia, a lot of people came up to me and said, Keep an eye on this Cody Harris, he hasn't been playing that long, very good player, got good scoring power, and uh, it, it would be great to see him. You know, perhaps playing the tour, so you might pick up, pick up a sponsor from down under, you never know. Well, now the Netherlands, the Dutch darting dream team of Barney and MVG against Russia, Koltsov here and Oreshkin, who we saw at the World Championships, won the prelim game and then gave Mervyn, him, uh, Mervyn King some hurry up in round one. 2 0 in sets to Oreshkin, King scrambled through. 94. Russian Whitlock. 
We'll see the real Whitlock later. Well, he's got to come up for trouble 20 now. Doesn't have to take the ball's eye. Not with the Netherlands on 2 6 3. And he's done exactly what he had to do. Well, that's even better. 170. Oh, just left the ball's eye. Rust is telling him not to walk straight down the hockey. Needs to come off on the left hand side. So a bit of pressure here for the Netherlands in this first leg. You require 50. Game Not bad scores there. He's talking about Cody Harris. Boris Koltsov has just got 140, 140 and taken the double out. So that's not a bad leg from the Russians to open up their campaign here in the World Cup. We've mentioned before many, many times that this best of nine doubles format in round one is nobody's cup of tea amongst the big teams because a couple of legs in and you can be in a pick. I mean, you've got to play badly for five minutes and you can be 3 nil down and in all sorts of trouble. And also, you know, if your opponent is not really keeping his end up and you, then you try to cover his scoring, a little bit of extra pressure, even for the likes of Van Gerwen and, and Taylor and Lewis and Anderson. You know, sometimes you put that shirt on for your country, it does put extra pressure on. What are we talking about? Throws. It certainly is individual. And this one is certainly individual as well. The power machine. There's a treble 20 out as quick as anybody, quicker than anybody on the planet. as you'll get from the newcomer on the big stage. Reskin, the, uh, the world's beat Paul Lim in the prelim round and averaged almost 90 in that game. And uh, that was over three sets as well, so it's a really fair barometer of what he's capable of. And averaged 86 against Mervyn King when he lost 3 2 in the end. This should be one all from here. Half a dozen darts for Van Gerwen and Barney. When I'm five. Double 10 for Raymond when he returns. Now ranked world number 11, Barnabelle. Netherlands require 20. To level it up. Level it up, he does. He's number 11, but he's really slipping even further. He keeps ducking out of tour events and European events. Well, had Yellow Class been available to play, it would have been a different story, wouldn't it? Class has just nicked ahead of him, hasn't he? He's tenth now, so. And then Benito van der Pass is. Well, heading he, him off at the pass, Chris, isn't he? Yes, he, he, he really is playing well and he's surging up the rankings, is Van der Pass. It could easily be Michael and Van der Pass next year. Definitely possible, yeah. Well, he will need to make the most of his position as a number top 16 seed for the match play, for example. Which coming up in July from the Winter Gardens. Barney is starting to get a little bit, I'll put it politely, fed up. Yeah, I don't think it's intentional. He's just a, a newcomer to the big stage and he's just a little bit excited, so he's got blinkers on. One on one. They look like blinkers anyway. Sixty. partner, uh, Boris Goltsov, was at the World Championship. He beat uh, Hideki Murat Muramatsu in the prelim round in 2015 before losing to Kevin Painter. So they've both got plenty of experience up on the uh, the big stage. Well, 
I think this could be the leg where the break comes, Rod. Yeah, this is where the big fella has got to put in a good score, get some control in this game. One on He's angry with that, should have had another treble. However, a 140 still keeps the Russians in. Win uh, 2013. He declined a bullseye shot against Phil Taylor and left Phil Taylor 160. Who promptly went 60 60 double top. One on one. It's Van Gerwen. To say this is one of the weirdest throws you'll ever see in professional darts. That's a wonder you can hold that hand up with all that gold and silver on it as well. 57. Well, Russ Bray just pointed out there is an exclusion zone that you cannot trample all over when your opponent is about to 96 throw really you, you might argue that it's a sign that One maybe the, the Dutch aren't completely in the zone Rod that they're not even noticing in it that you know had they been firing on all cylinders maybe they wouldn't even be worried or noticing what their opponent was doing I don't know well, you've only got to step back from, what's it take, a couple of seconds, just stand back there, let your opponent get right off the hockey around the back of you and settled. You know, sometimes you can even feel the player walking behind you. Uh, just wait for them to get settled. Interesting to see what he does this time. Michael's coming back to 71. A treble 13, but on the 16 for a 3 1 lead. No learn to require 71. He's walked off quite well there. He's nearly knocked Russ out of the way. <laughs> 31. Russ, you require 144. Tops here for wow. the Netherlands to go 3-1 up, and they're going to be under some pressure here. There you go, it's 3-1. I'll tell you what, Robbie, what is a bit odd here is that Barney was throwing after Oreshkin, wasn't he? And now Van Gerwen's throwing after Oreshkin. Strange. Yes, I, I thought that the same player, the captain, went first in each leg. I'm actually just trying to look up the uh, the rules, but it's in German. 93. And now Barney's back following him. I think what, they, what they've just done, they've just alternate throws, whether uh, they finish the leg or not. Well, an early scare, they lost the first leg, they won the next three with a minimum of fuss. Barney and uh, MVG. And uh, looking like underlining their status of favourites if they do win this game, which seems a certainty now. They'll play the Philippines in the next round. Who we saw win uh, earlier tonight. at the moment no real trouble for the seeds Belgium beat Poland 5-1 they're the number 7 seeds you just see Scotland beat New Zealand 5-3 that was a closer game than that we have to say big scare for the Scots <coughs> the Netherlands here One and right they're on the 36. way
Well, they should set this up pretty good for Michael to come back and just close this leg out and go one hey, leg away. Rushing a require one. You have to fancy that he may get a dart or two darts, a double chop. He's going to get two. And calm down. Eight. A little bit rushed there. Netherlands. Netherlands to require 87. Sherwood sure annoyed Boris Colts off there, but he wasn't happy with something. Double five at any rate for Van Gerwen. 82. Russia require 20. Four, two on the board for Russia. Oh, that's a long way off. that one so the Netherlands come back oh, just having a chat there the Russians double two for that leg four for Holland three score well Barney could not mop up Russia you require 20 some pretty scratchy stuff in and amongst Dutch have to throw in this one though. The Russians are going to find a break from somewhere. Not easy to break when Van Gerwen is leading the way, but only 85 though from MVG. One. We're not quite in the uh, the pickle that the Scots were in, who were one three behind to New Zealand and dug themselves out of it. You have to give credit to Robert Thornton and Gary Anderson because they never flapped or panicked. 16. But here, the door just ajar again. They have to say, the Ruskin could just score a little bit better. They'd be with a good chance. But some of his darts are really wayward. Unless the throw, the release is just too short. Any length in the arm. Well, you see Michael Van Gerwen. He's got the release right down the line, as we'd say in cricket. Rodders. Phantom maximum. Well, that's caught the stem as it's come in where it holds the flight. 16. First signs of a smile flickering across the great Dutchman's features. First time we've seen that tonight. It hasn't been the happiest night at the office for Barley so far, but winning is what matters. They're not far away now. No, we don't see Barney smile enough. Full stop, do we? I mean, a wonderful dark player. He just eased up a bit. We see him win more tournaments. Well, the treble 19 will leave double top. 58. Well, Barney has won this event twice with uh, different playing partners. Michael Van Gerwen himself in 2014 and Co Stompe. 87. In 2010 in the inaugural the running of the event. 78. 78 then for Barney, 54 for 24. Well, 57. 38. Russia require 126. Oh, no, there's a bit of a lack of concentration there from Barneveld. Well, he's got to look at 19s. Four 19s will give him a dart at the bullseye. Oh, I just give it well. Now, don't miss the big number, which he hasn't. Now, the bullseye, and this would be a shock for the favourites. The red bit in the middle of the board. 77. The lines are required 40. 
important visit here from the world number one does not want to be making a mess of this. Yeah. Yeah, that was important because when well, it goes 3-3, three, three, suddenly you're in a best of three lengths. The opposition has throw in two of them. It's not a comfortable position to be in. I don't care who you're playing against. So that important for Magu in that double ten, vital. And now, just one leg away, the Dutch. Sixteen. No offence to their partners, but if uh, Boris had played with Cody, they, they could have had a good push for this tournament, the way them two have played, because Boris has played exceptionally well here. of 82 for the Dutch pair in this format just to put it in a context with the best of what we've seen this evening in Belgium really I thought the the Heibrex brothers they were averaging about 92 yes it's not the polished performance that we kind of expected there's been a lot of loose starts One uh, you know concentration perhaps sometimes you just go up there and think you're just going to win and all of a sudden you know, it doesn't actually work Staccato stuff all round, really, in honesty. Can Barney put in a big one here to move close to the finishing line? No, is the answer. Fulton. Well, it's been torrid. Torrid tungsten from Barney tonight, and things can, things can only get better. They play the Philippines if they get through, then Australia, Germany or Denmark, they're in the same half as the Scots. Scotland v Holland is the projected semi-final if we get that far. Russia required 54. Well, this game may not be over yet. Maris can take this 54 out, and all of a sudden this next leg could get very nervy. We know that MVG always pulls it out of the bag when needed. However, double top, double top, it is. It is a hold of throw. This is the leg that the Netherlands have got to win. This is where Van Gerwen has got to kick off. These two trebles. Relief for the Dutch. As Koltsov could not take any advantage at all of Van Gerwen's 96 start. It's just edgy, Six Rod, isn't it? Very, very edgy. Yes, I think that Michael thought he was just going to step up and pound the treble 20. That's not happened, and Barney really has struggled. The, the Russians can just keep with the Dutch and Put down to that double. I'll tell you what, the way his darts laid, this is perfect for another treble. He's just caught well. the bottom dart instead of the top one. Well, you're just sitting here waiting for Van Gerwen to ignite. It just hasn't happened. It just hasn't happened. He sat here for seven and a half legs of darts, expecting at any second the fireworks to start, but it's been damp squib. Good grief, this will be interesting if Barney can't compile something sizable. What a time to have your best visit of the match. Just when they needed it, because I tell you what, had he gone even a straight 60, the pressure would have been on. Yes, it would have been. But a 140 here would be 
big pressure on Michael Van Gerwen. He's going to feel that a ton is not going to be enough. That's not going to happen now, so Van Gerwen's going to come back to finish this match off. It's not been the best of performances from the world number one team, however, it will be a win. Let's see Michael just wait until he gets back again. Still the odd five. Tops for the match! It has not gone. It has not gone, but this will have to go. Won't go. So Barney coming back then for double ten to finish off what has been a gruelling battle. Netherlands are required. Torrid struggle. But they are through. The favourite score of the title are through safely into the last 16. But Barney's expression says it all. That was a tough night at the office for the Netherlands. They're through. They play the Philippines. They beat Russia by three.